gorgeous Geminis, this is Debs and this is your reading for mid-April 2024. Now, Gemini <laughs> is definitely retrograde, guys. I've just spent over an hour recording your reading. And when I looked at my camera on the stand, it hadn't recorded. And I sat there in disbelief. Oh, my goodness. Now, it was a bit of a challenging reading, Gem, so I don't know whether or not the divine simply didn't want me to post it. <laughs> um, but here we go. This is a new reading. Let's hope this is going to record safely. Now, Gemini, in meditation, I simply saw someone on a bicycle <laughs> cycling down this country lane in pouring rain. They felt damp. They felt miserable. The bicycle was rickety. They were just having one of those days. Out of nowhere, there was a roar behind this person on this bicycle. And this sports car came right up behind this person and swerved to overtake them. And this poor person on this bicycle was sort of going all over the place, trying to sort of settle themselves, absolutely drenched. And they could see this person careering off ahead of them. And they just stuck a hand out of the window and waved as if to say, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> and this person thought to themselves, I can't believe they did that. Didn't they realise I was drenched and felt just really fed up? Further along down the road, <laughs> the cyclist came to this sports car who pulled over, smoke billowing from the bonnet. <laughs> and this person who was driving was leaning against the side of the car on the phone. Obviously, I would have thought, ringing a repair shop. And this person on the bicycle grinned to themselves. And as they cycled past this person in this sports car on the side of the road, they waved. Bye now. <laughs> Bye now. So, Gemini, I don't know whether or not you feel as if someone's done you wrong or somebody's been arrogant with you or somebody's been sad in ego. Yeah, look at me speed past. Mm -hmm. Look at you on that bicycle. Well, Gemini, I feel as if someone here is going to get their comeuppance. OK, yeah. Gem, you may realise that as you are progressing forward, you're doing well. This person is sinking. Now, Gem, um, I don't want you guys to feel this is some kind of revenge reading, but it's definitely going to be putting someone in their place who might have been a little bit full of themselves before. All right. Here we go, guys. The deck that I'm using is the Tarot of Dreams. Everything you need, guys, is down below, including my website, if you'd like a private reading. So here we go, guys. Let's see how this pans out. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, mid-April 2024. What do we have for my lovely Geminis over this period of time? Thank you, Michael. Yeah, Gem, you may feel as if somebody was almost looking down their nose at you. Oh, look at you down there. Look at you struggling. Look at me, you know. Yeah, not a very pleasant energy. You may be dealing with a narcissist, okay? Yeah. You may be dealing with someone who was a bit full of themselves, Gemini. I hate to say that, but you know what? There are plenty of people in the world like that. Mm. Yeah, okay. Knight of coins, three of swords. It's almost as if you're seeing somebody shooting past... And you're struggling. And this is you feeling upset, you know. They didn't stop to see if I'm okay on this bicycle. They rushed past and they drenched me, right? Yeah. Oh, guys, my Geminis. Tables are going to turn, though, Gem. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So at the moment, Gemini, 
Here is you. Now, the Knight of Coins is very slow progress. You are progressing. This is you on a bicycle. Okay, it's taking quite a long time. You could be struggling in a job. You could be struggling paying debt. You may be trying to put savings into the bank. It's not easy. The vision I saw was symbolism. So this is you trying to move forward, but it's tough going. Whoever has sort of lauded it over you has made you feel very upset. They should be commiserating with me. They should be trying to help me get back on my feet. They shouldn't be acting as if they're glad to see me in this situation. Yeah, Jem. Mm. All right. Seven of Pentacles. So Gemini, you may be looking at the past or you could be looking at your finances. I'm almost feeling as if you're in a symbolic cocoon. You may not be wanting to speak to many people at this point of time. You may be keeping yourself to yourself. You're in deep contemplation about the past. You may be nervous about your stability. Hmm. Yeah. With the energy of the world, Gemini, a cycle's ended. A cycle's ended. I'm almost getting the energy of you having just picked yourself up. You know? It wasn't easy. It wasn't fun. But I picked myself up. I've got on the bicycle. I'm sort of managing to make progress here. But it's been hard work. In the past, King of Swords. Gemini, you may have had to speak your truth to someone. Or Gem, you could have been dealing with a masculine who was a bit strategic. Wanted things their own way. After that time, there was an argument. Knight of Swords. You may have tried to stand up for yourself, Gem. You may have said to this person, you need to see my perspective, my point of view. Why do I feel as if it fell on deaf ears? They just didn't want to know. They were happy, right? Zooming off into the sunset in their sports car. No problems at all. Thank you very much. I don't really want to notice that you're there on this bicycle struggling. No, no, no. I'm fine. So life is good. In your thoughts, Gem, three of wands, the energy coming through is, will I ever make it? Will I get back on my feet again? I hope so. You're feeling very vulnerable right now, Gem. You're waiting for a ship to come in to sort of, in the nicest sense, rescue you. Hoping that a job will come out of the blue, you know, hoping that you get to know a new group of people. You're just wanting things to change, Gem, because you've been through it. In the immediate future, Eight of Cups. Mm. Slow progress, slow progress. In the immediate future, you are understanding that... I'm sorry, guys, I'm hearing you're a little bit on your own. You're a little bit on your own. It may be a bit daunting. It may be a little bit nerve wracking. It might be that you've detached from a family dynamic. It might be that you ended a relationship or someone ended a relationship with you. You may feel, again, vulnerable. I'm on my own. Oh, my goodness. Right. I've got to survive on my own. In your fears. Ten of Swords. Fearing that the same thing is going to happen again, that if you open up, that if you put your trust in someone, you're going to be betrayed. So that tells me, Gemini, that this person betrayed you. And that was very difficult to accept, to come to terms with. Whoever is in your environment, six of swords. I'm getting a mirroring energy, Gemini. This is someone who is also moving to calmer waters after disappointment, after trials and tribulation. They're still feeling they're still feeling in a dark place. 
you know, they're pulling themselves up out of something. They're making very slow progress forward. I'm really noticing that this person is carrying this lantern of light. This is someone who is keeping faith in the divine, sitting in self-respect. I'm going to be okay. I just need to keep moving forward. I'm out of the worst is what this person is thinking. Very strong mirroring energy. What you're hoping for, Gemini, is the Two of Swords. This is almost the energy of hoping to hold back until you're absolutely sure of a situation. I'm not going to jump in. I'm not going to do anything impulsive because mm, I don't want to find myself in the Ten of Swords. This is you saying to yourself, if I meet someone new, if this is romance, I'm going to take it really slowly because my past person burned me, right? Betrayed me. I am not going through that again. In the outcome, Gemini, four of coins. Yeah, you're still a little bit nervous. You're hanging on to money. You're holding back. But why do I feel as if you've got someone here in the environment who is going through the same thing? I almost feel as if the divine is wanting you two to get together, not to sort of sit in sad energy and commiserate with each other, right? But to help each other through what has been individually difficult times. Clarification for you, Gem. Two of coins. Again, I'm noticing a lot of vulnerability here. We have a naked man, a naked man, a naked man. Now, you could very well be a woman. It's symbolism. But what we have here, Gem, is you feeling as if you're struggling. I'm trying to make ends meet, right? I'm trying to get to this golden city, but I don't know how the hell I'm going to get there because I'm just on this rickety old bicycle. <laughs> Gem. Bless you. Okay. Page of coins. Oh, Gem. I'm feeling quite emotional for someone here. You may be hoping someone's going to come out of the woodwork and give you a helping hand, hoping somebody's going to be kind enough to give you a promotion or a pay rise or a better paid job. This is you thinking that you've almost had to start from scratch again. So I'm not sure exactly what you went through, Gem. It's going to be difficult for all of you guys. But whatever it was, was painful. It was difficult. And it may have caused you some kind of financial instability. Because here is you looking at your savings after a relationship or a cycle has ended, feeling nervous. Whoever is sat in the Six of Swords is the star. Now, this is someone who is also trying to heal this is someone who's very balanced within themselves, could be an Aquarian, so a fellow air sign. Why do I feel as if the divine is trying to pull you two together? You need each other at this point of time, Gem. You can lean on each other. You're both in a vulnerable place. This person is also naked, having gone through some kind of painful ending. I'm not feeling, guys, because I can hear someone out there saying this, this is not a trauma bond, right? This is simply two people who've been through very hard times, possibly harsh lessons. And I do feel as if you're going to be drawn to each other at this point of time. Four of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. This person is also feeling nervous. They feel that something's out of reach, Gemini. As you are feeling as if your ships aren't going to come in. Gemini, you're both searching for a sort of lifeline. For somebody to chuck you a lifeline. But why do I feel you two are meant to come together? Because you're stronger together. If I know someone is standing by my side who's been through something similar, I feel together we can get through this. Together we can take on the world. That's what I'm feeling. Underneath the deck gem, we have the two of wands. 
So we've got the Three of Swords, the Knight of Coins. You're struggling, you're managing financially, but it's not easy because I feel as if you're having to work very hard on your stability, right? While you're dealing with heartbreak. Two of Wands. You're standing at crossroads in your life, sort of keeping your fingers crossed that something is going to help pull you up out of this energy. And you're dealing with somebody who was thinking exactly the same. All right, Gemini. 1818 on the clock, guys. This is about a new beginning and this is about progress. So if you're ready, let's get into this. Archangel Michael, why is Gemini sat thinking about the past? A little bit nervous. You're protecting your finances, Gem. Seven of Pentacles. You have experienced an ending. You're right in the middle of the bridge. Do I turn left? Do I turn right? I have no idea. I think I'm just going to sit here for now in this little self-protective bubble, trying to sort of find my feet. What are you thinking about? Yes, the Wheel of Destiny. Even though, Gem, you're in this nervous energy, I feel a lot of nervous energy here, you somehow feel that you've been pushed onto the right path. I mean, this is you thinking, well, I don't know if I'm going to turn left or right, but I kind of know that I shouldn't have been stuck in the situation I was stuck in before. It wasn't serving me. It was depleting me. And you now feel that when you do progress forward, put one foot in front of the other, it will be in the right direction. You do know that. You know that. So you're just sitting on that bridge thinking, OK, whew, I'm going to be all right. I've got my rickety old bicycle. Uh, I'm going to have to sort of start from scratch, but I'm OK. What's on your mind, Jen? The Magician. Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio energy. You are manifesting, moving forward onto a new path. You're a little bit worried you're not going to be able to achieve what you want to achieve, which could simply be stability for yourself and a sense of happiness. But you kind of know underneath that you have everything you need to rebuild your life. Ace of Wands. And you've got the inspiration to do it. You've got the inspiration to do it, Gemini. Yes. And you've learned a lot of lessons. Yes, at some point you might have been up there at the top of the tree. Now you've kind of gone back down again. But you've learned a lot of lessons in the process. Which have been crucially important because on this new path, Gemini, you're going to do things differently. You may feel as if you're even a different person. So in the past, Gem, you had to deal with someone strategic or someone, Gemini, that you might have had issues with legally. This could even be you having to go through divorce, and it might have been a shock. You might have got justice, Gemini, but whatever happened in the past was a challenge because for some reason it caused you to have to go back to square one again. It, it wasn't easy. Yes. So there could have been a court case or you may have had issues with a Libra. You may have had issues with a Libra. Yeah. Nine of Wands. It's as if I didn't want this to happen, but Gemini, there may subconsciously have been a sense of relief. Because you can't sit in the Nine of Wands for very long. It's too heavy. It's too stressful. This is you looking back at the past thinking, you know what? I didn't want this to happen. I didn't want to have to go through this breakup or have to face the music or have to give someone a large amount of money. 
but I recognise that this had to come to an end at a certain point. So, Jem, I think, to be honest, you surrendered. You didn't fight this. If somebody said to you, Jem, OK, I think this has to end and you need to transfer X amount of money, then you just did it. But it's almost as if you did it on automatic. You were a bit numb. OK, I've got to do that. All right, they want that. OK, they want those papers. OK, they want this amount of money. All right, OK. You did it and you succeeded in closing out a cycle because you detached from your emotions. Only after this was over, Gem, you may have reconnected with your heart space. And there may have been a sense of anger that sort of came to the surface. This is you suddenly coming to the realisation of what you had to go through. So somebody may have picked up the phone and said, OK, Gemini, end of cycle, have a good life. And you may have just lost it with this person. Because you pushed down your feelings for such a long time, eventually they had to come up and out, right? So after sitting in this numb energy, there may have been a flare up, Gemini. You couldn't help it. You had to say what was on your mind because it might have been a situation where you thought, I'm never going to see this person again. So to hell with it. I'm going to tell them what I think. It may not have been pleasant. You may have spoken your truth and then put the phone down and thought, oh my God, I shouldn't have said that. That was actually really unpleasant. But Jem, I feel somehow you were taken advantage of or you had to go through something painful based on somebody else's issue or problem or greed. And so this is just you sort of flaring up because you come to the end of a cycle. I don't care what I say now because it's over anyway. What happened in the immediate past with the Knight of Swords? Yeah, OK. Gemini, you may have spoken your truth. <laughs> Gem, male or female, you may have said to someone, yeah, you know, you think you won? You're an egotistical, overindulgent SOB. You know, whatever you said, Gem, just came out of your mouth. Came out of your mouth. For some of you, you may have said, yeah, you're not getting another penny. Have a good life. No one's going to want to deal with you anyway. Whatever you said, Gem, there may have been a certain sense of, I said it. <laughs> but because you're a nice person, Gem, you may have, again, sort of pulled back thinking, yeah, it didn't feel that good because I'm not used to being horrible to people, you know? But you may have felt this person deserved it. <sighs> yeah. So you were dealing with somebody narcissistic, overindulgent. They thought they'd won, right? They left you sitting on this bicycle, pedalling madly in the rain, whilst they sped off in a sports car. I mean, symbolically. Ooh, okay, Gemini. You called this person out because they might have cheated on you with the lovers. This is you angry, Gemini, so you weren't the one to cheat. Your person cheated. And this is you very upset. This brought the whole thing crashing down. So, Jen, let's leave that behind. What you're thinking about is the Three of Wands. You're sitting there feeling vulnerable. I'm hoping for change. I'm hoping I can get back on my feet. You're thinking about your future. What are you thinking about, Jen? Yeah, you're still in a sort of cocoon energy. I'm sitting here vulnerable. I've been through a battle. I'm just going to sit here and think about what I do now. Yeah. The sun. There may be times, Gem, when you say to yourself, you know what, I know that I might look back in a couple of years and all this will be in the past. And I'll be sitting in the sun. But you don't know if that's really going to happen. 
because I feel as if, Gem, you're still feeling fragile. You're still feeling in a little bit of a negative mindset, which is normal, guys. Don't beat yourself up about that because you've gone through something very, very difficult with someone sat in overindulgent energy. Yeah. A little bit confused. Am I ever going to be happy again? Am I ever going to progress? Am I going to get out of this mindset? You may be looking at options, Gemini, for happiness in your future because you are recognizing, Gem, even though it's been tough, that now there's a lot of doors that are going to start opening for you. Now, I feel as if we've got a destined meeting here, Gemini. In the immediate future, we have the Eight of Cups. What you're thinking about is, thank God I'm out of the situation. I don't know where I'm going. I'm taking it one step at a time, but I know I'm moving forward and I'm going to be happier. But you're completely naked. You're feeling vulnerable. Whoever this person is, is feeling exactly the same. They've gone through a difficult time. They're moving to calmer waters and they're holding this light. It's as if they are grasping hold of their faith, a little spark of optimism in order to push them through what has been a dark time. So you guys are mirroring each other. OK. Yes. So Archangel Michael, when do we have the Eight of Cups for Gem? And the Six of Swords for whomever is in Gemini's environment. Do we have timing, Michael? Thank you. I'm hearing the 28th of May. Michael's pointing forward to the 17th of June. So on those dates or within that period of time, Gem, you are going to be coming in contact with whoever this is. Now, this is someone who's also healing. And this is someone who's feeling as if they've been through a battle Something wasn't fair. And this is someone who, like you, Gemini, is trying to find their feet again. So Archangel Michael, what is this person's energy, please? What is what is their energy? The death card. OK. They've had to go through major change and transformation. They may have shed their skin. They may have gone through something incredibly difficult. I don't know why I'm really noticing this snake, this viper. Somebody may have hurt this person very, very deeply. And it's as if they didn't see it coming. This person may have been hurt by a Scorpio or this person may be a Scorpio. What are they thinking about? OK. Page of Swords, Two of Cups. I'm actually hearing, I'm so sorry, I'm in love with somebody else. That's what I heard. I'm sorry, I'm in love with somebody else. So whoever this person is, was heartbroken. They may have been in love with someone who actually walked away from them and chose to be with another person. So this was very difficult for this person. Yeah, Palace of Swords. I have to tell you, Gemini, they are overthinking, overanalyzing everything. I didn't deserve this. Why did this happen to me? I don't understand. I haven't done anything wrong. This is someone who's looking at the past with a big question mark over their head. What have I done to deserve this, you know? Oh, OK. What's this person's energy? The hermit. They're in isolation too, Gemini. Interesting. This is someone who is taking a big step back and reevaluating everything in their life, what they've been through, lessons they had to learn. They're a little bit nervous about the future. But again, what I'm looking at is this little light. We saw the little lantern, right? There's another little light here. This is someone who is being protected by the divine. What are they thinking about? Yeah. They're very, very worried, Gemini, that if they give someone else a chance, if they open up to somebody new, they're going to be hurt again. 
This is someone who, like you, Gemini, is in a self-protective bubble. Let's have a look at your energy, Gemini. Yeah. You may be thinking about someone who sabotaged the relationship with you, who ran off, did something that they know was painful for you. You've walked away from whatever this was, whomever this was, but you're still feeling depleted, Gem. This is you kind of still pedalling in the rain on that bicycle. I can't believe this happened, you know? Guys, guys. Yeah, it's as if, well, nothing else can happen because I've been through the worst. This person's destroyed my sense of self-respect, destroyed my self-worth. I'm broken. Gem, I'm sorry, guys. But I want you to know that that is over now. It is over. You're never going to have to go through that again. What else are you thinking about? Yeah, someone got away with something, Gemini, and it floored you. Now, I don't know, it could have been simply cheating on you. And you may have found out this person was cheating on you for a very long time. It might be, Gemini, even somebody got away with taking from you somehow, maybe even financially, because here you are looking at your savings. You know, it's as if, oh gosh, you know, what have I got left? Guys. Hmm. Yeah, five of coins. It's as if I can't believe I'm in the situation. Feeling left out in the cold. Somebody may have left you symbolically holding the baby, you know, worried about money. But again, look at the mirroring. It's crazy. What's the energy between you two? The tower, yeah? Both of you have gone through very painful endings. You may both have gone through betrayal, heartbreak, financial loss. It hasn't been easy. But this is the point, Gemini, where you two are going to be brought together somehow. Somehow. So, Gemini, we end the reading with the Four of Coins. You're feeling a little bit nervous. You may not have been very social recently, okay, since this happened. You've been keeping yourself to yourself. You're also very nervous about your finances. But this is the time where you are going to be drawn to this person somehow. What is going to happen here for my lovely Geminis? Three of Cups. You may decide, Gemini, to accept an invitation. Now, it could be an invitation to a housewarming party. It could be an event. This is you receiving some kind of invite and thinking to yourself, what the hell? I've been sitting here feeling really miserable. I've got to get out of this energy. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. All right. What's going to happen for my gems? Eight of Wands. You may need to travel to this event, whatever this is. And Gem, I feel as if you're going to meet this person and there's going to be a lot of conversation. A lot of conversation. Okay. Yeah. Male or female Gemini, this is someone who almost wants to talk about what they've been through. Now, I'm not getting a sense here where you're sharing your sad stories. I'm not getting a really depressed energy. But it's almost as if they feel as if they just want to get something off their chest. They want to get this awful situation they've been through out there to sort of release it. And I have to say, Gem, you may be realising you're doing the same, <laughs> right? I mean, this is you two at this event, initially pretending everything's fine, you're suited and booted, you're looking really good, you're putting a smile on your face, even though underneath you're feeling upset and vulnerable and angry and all these mixed emotions. You may meet this person and the conversation is going to start on a very shallow basis. So um, you're here with anyone and this person's going to say, no. Yeah, me too. Okay. 
And then you're going to say, actually, um, I've just left a situation which was a bit of a nightmare. And then the ball is going to start rolling. Me too. I went through a terrible situation recently. I can't believe what I went through. And the, and the ball's going to bounce back to you. Oh, I know. My goodness. Can you believe some people? They did this. They did that. This person's going to say, absolutely. They left me in the gutter. They caused me all this heartbreak. And even though, Gem, initially you might think, wow, we're just standing here slating people, right? Because of what other people have put us through. I feel as if there's going to be an enormous sense of relief. I'm not on my own. This person's been through this too. They understand how I'm feeling. And in a strange way, it's going to bring you closer together. Yes. Gem? Yeah. Page of Wands. And Gem, you're also going to be looking at this person thinking, you know what? They're really very attractive. Hmm. And they're single. And I feel this person is thinking the same thing. What is this person thinking? Yeah, Ace of Swords. Okay, so they're unattached now. Hmm. Yes. So this is going to be the start of what I think, Gemini, is going to be a beautiful connection. Initially, you may meet up and discuss each other's pasts. Oh my goodness, you went through that. Wow, you went through that too. Yes, I know how it feels. But gradually, because you two are opening up, being vulnerable with each other, because you feel that you can, because you feel safe with this person somehow, this bond is going to grow. It's going to strengthen. Yes. And before you know it, Gemini, what you're going to be realising is you're building a foundation for a future relationship. It may creep up on you. It may be a little insidious. But one day you're going to turn around and realise, and it could be a few weeks later, a couple of months later, this is my person. I can't believe the way that I met them, but I know that this feels right. Yes. Faith card. And there may be a period of time, Gemini, where you look back and you simply say to yourself, this was meant to be. This was divinely guided. We were pulled together because we've both been through similar situations. It's as if the divine wanted us to meet to help us heal individually and build a beautiful foundation for a partnership. Yes, Gemini. Ace of coins. This is you feeling stronger, wiser. This is you thinking to yourself, I'm going to protect this with everything I have. I'm going to protect this new connection. Because I simply know this is my person. This is my person, Gem. That's what you're going to be feeling. Yeah. And before too long, Gemini, you're going to find yourself looking back, realising that everything was meant to be. You were meant to go through that very difficult situation. You were meant to meet this person at the time that you met them. Because at this point, Gemini, you're both sat in the equivalent of the Ten of Cups. We found each other. Beautiful. So, my lovely Geminis, when you are sat with your head to the rain on that rickety bicycle, just remember this is where you're heading, okay? You're heading to the Ten of Cups. So, guys, I'm leaving the reading there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if this is your story. Take care of you, sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Jen.